Design challenge number three by team CEOs. The concept is group decision making problems and improving the problem solution process by Luis Rodriguez, Adam Kress, Jessica Dillon, and Benjamin Ford. The company needs to expand their marketing to new demographics in order to sell more of its products. The boss gathers his team and tells them, we need to decide which demographics to expand to so we can sell more. The, th the team thought for a couple seconds, hmm. However, the boss, who always thinks on a bonded or limited idea, quickly argues, we should market to a younger or older demographic. The majority of the team members surprisingly agreed with the good but limited idea, but others quickly refused, confusingly shaking their heads. I have a better idea, said one team member, fearing to be judged by the majority. So the team member nervously says, maybe we could also target other cultures, and some of the other team members agreed. What? That does not make any sense, said one of the opposing party. The boss and some of the team members decide to just go with the original plan of only targeting different age demographics. We should do what the boss said, since he is always right, said the majority of the team. The nervous team member and his backers did not say another word, but their faces showed discontent. The small group of team members insist that they expand the scope of the marketing beyond just a younger and or older crowd. But boss, do you remember when Company X focused only on younger or older demographics? They went bankrupt because of that, said another team member. That was the other company. We're different. We're invincible. Nobody has ideas like me. Sorry, like us, said the boss arrogantly. The group followed the plan to market to only a younger demographic, and one of the members backing the boss realizes that it was a bad idea and says, Boss, I think they were right. We are losing money. I know it is a bad idea, but this must work, said the boss, fearing of being wrong all this time. As a result, the company lost billions of dollars because of this escalation of commitment. What a mess. Billions of dollars lost because of the failure to reach a target market. Surprisingly, the CEO of the company gives the manager of the team a second chance. You need to con come with a great plan to recover the losses and reach our target market. Seriously, said the CEO. You should follow the improving the problem solution process. Okay, I'll follow that process now. The boss learns from the improving the problem solution process about assigning a devil's advocate in group meetings, so he decides to assign Dave as devil's advocate. He calls the devil's advocate to his side. You need to disagree with anything we said. This way we think more about our conclusions. Okay, I will be devil's advocate, he said. The team celebrated at the bar after being successful since they used brainstorming, the Delphi technique, etc., and came to a consensus. They expanded to countries with a low context culture first, reaching a high, high target of consumers. Once they succeeded in marketing to those countries, they began to market to countries with a high context culture, expanding sales to the maximum. Good job, mates, said the CEO.